now we are going to talk about the molten globule state and this molten globule state which is uh, the most important transient uh, state for the protein folding it is really really important why because if we uh, go from unfolded protein towards the folded protein we are having the transition phase and this transition phase is called this molten globule phase now this molten globule phase is nothing but uh, the non specific assembly of secondary structure so we are having a, a protein structure where we are having the secondary structure fully formed and the interaction of the secondary structure is uh, less the interaction of the secondary structure is lower so there is no specific interactions between the secondary structure though the secondary structure is being formed inside this protein but the interaction the specificity of the assembly of the secondary structure is none in this case so we call this kind of structure a molten globule structure that means we provide all those necessary uh, domains uh, but we are not providing any specificity to the protein as we know the specificity is much 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 more important because unless the specificity we can make a folded protein that, and sometimes they can be stable but they can be uh, they, they cannot have any activity at all they cannot show any activity at all okay so now let us move uh, on and look for the kinetics of the protein folding if we go from here like unfolded state towards the folded state or native state like that and the transition state is the transition one this is the transition two state and as we can see if we look out about the kinetics of the folding then we can say some a very important uh, consideration in this case is that the not all the steps have the same rate constant so the rate constant is varying from one step to another step and the intermediates accumulate uh, to the uh, to here in between this one and two intermediates is relatively slow relatively slow uh, small and relatively low in con concentrations so there are higher concentration of unfolded protein we can find we can also find higher concentration of native protein in the environment but we are having very lower amount of this transition uh, state of the protein in the environment that's another important thing in the mixture so when you look at the mixture we are having unfolded as well as the native protein but not the protein in the transient state state not the protein in the molten globule state okay now if we look at uh, this there another very important assumption about that if we are going from the unfolded state to the folded state we are having much more unfolded uh, state uh, we are having the unfolded protein here and we have the folded here now if we look for uh, an environment and look for the proteins we can find the much more folded proteins rather than uh, than the unfolded state so it's a, it's the lowest this is the highest so if we if we go from the concentration of protein lo look at the concentration of different species about this protein folding because if we journey from unfold then we have uh, the transition one then we have transition two suppose two transition and then finally get the folded then we are having the highest concentration of the folded and the lowest concentration of uh, unfolded but uh, we are having uh, this transition state in between but still these are the lower than the folded and unfolded state okay so the unfolded state is an uh, is in symbol of large number of molecules with different conformations so what we are talking about unfolded state we have many different molecules many molecules of the protein structure many protein chains but all those chains with different types of conformations which is not the stabilized one which is not the most stabilized one that's why you call them the unfolded state so we are having all those amino acid sequences with the peptide bonds and chains and all those things but what we are lacking we are lacking uh, the the stabilization of the conformation the specificity of those interaction between the amino acid sequences that is the case about that okay so here we are if we look at the free energy thing then we have the less free energy and the least free energy for the folded state that's why it is much more favored we having uh, the moderately uh, high free energy for uh, unfolded state but we are having the highest uh, free energy for the transition state so we need to go through this kind of steps okay to finally make this folded state of the protein if we reach at the peak of this transient state then you can make this folding of the protein okay so most of the time we are having the unfolding and the folded state and less amount of less amount of this tra transient state uh, phase of the protein can be found in the environment now if we look at the kinetics uh, uh, by this way we have the unfolded protein now the unfolded protein uh, the amino acid sequences present in the unfolded protein start to interact with each other uh, to make what is called a molten globular structure this molten globular structure is nothing but uh, the non specific interaction between the domain of the proteins and finally they interact with each other and finally make which is called a folded protein in this folded protein what we are having we are having specific interactions of amino acid sequences uh, in in the domain to make a really compact structure like that 